Did you know the origins of extended reality XR, the spectrum of immersive technologies that includes virtual reality VR, augmented reality R, and mixed reality Mr. stretch all the way back to the 1800s? In this article, I take a whistle-stop tour through the key milestones in the evolution of XR. In 1838, scientist Sir Charles Wheatstone outlined the concept of stereopsis or binocular vision, where the brain combines two images, one from each eye, to make a single 3D image. This led to the development of the first stereoscopes, devices that took a pair of images and turned them into a 3D image with the illusion of depth. Stereoscopic displays are used in today's VR systems to bring a sense of depth to digital images, thereby enhancing the feeling of immersion. Now we jump forward a bit to 1935 when American science fiction writer Stanley Weinbaum published Pygmalion's Spectacles, in which the main character explores a fictional world using a pair of goggles. This was the first prediction of VR as we know it today. The 1950s to the 1970s across the 50s, 60s, and 70s, we began to see early examples of VR and R technology in action. In 1956, cinematographer Morton Heilig created Sensorama, the first VR machine. This movie booth combined 3D, color video, using the stereoscopic technology I've already mentioned, with audio, smells, and a vibrating chair to immerse the viewer in the movie. Heilig would go on to patent the first head-mounted display, combining stereoscopic 3D images with stereo sound, in 1960. Building on Heilig's idea, engineers from Philco created the Headsight headset in 1961. Designed for military use, this was the first VR headset with motion tracking technology. Also in the 1960s, computer scientist Ivan Sutherland presented a paper outlining his concept of the ultimate display, a virtual world so realistic that the user wouldn't be able to differentiate it from reality. This is widely considered the blueprint for modern VR. And in 1968, the first R headset was created by Harvard professor Ivan Sutherland. Called the Sword of Damocles, the headset displayed computer-generated graphics that enhanced the user's perception of the world, an early precursor to today's R experiences. Moving into the 1970s, MIT created Aspen Movie Map, a computer-generated tour of the streets of Aspen, which was created using photographs taken by a car driving through the city. Sound familiar, Google? This experience was arguably the first to show how VR could transport users to another place entirely. From the 1980s to 2000 in the 1980s, new technology emerged to enhance the VR experience. The first company to sell VR goggles and gloves, VPL Research Inc., was founded in 1985 and it was one of VPL's founders, Jaron Lanier, who coined the term, virtual reality, in 1987. The term, augmented reality, was coined in 1990 by Boeing researcher Tom Cordell.